Hello fellow weirdos. Here we are back in stasis and I think I have run into a glitch or bug with the pump station. Because uh, I, I confirmed that the winning combination should indeed be the opposite of full tank. So if let's let's go and check. So combination is up down down left right left then the draining combination should be down up up right left right which I have scribbled on a handy paper Exactly. Let's, let's try the opposite just in case for once more. So up, down, down, left, right, left. This is doing nothing and now let's reverse it. Down, up, up, right, left, right. doing nothing. Oh, okay. So I actually have to do it manually. <gasps> I want to see if I can reverse it. <laughs> okay, let's let's do it the other way. Ah, oh, no, we can't do it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it here. Uh, save. So I wasn't sure that the fill and drain doodads can be interacted with. I'm gonna overwrite this one. This saves some time because at first when it didn't work, or I thought it didn't work, uh, I sort of guessed that maybe I am missing an item or something. Okay, now the ladder has become interactable. Pump ramp. Yeah, let's go down here. So yeah, I figured maybe I was missing missing an item or something, so I would have had to go back and, you know, look everywhere and check everything. You said it's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us. 
No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Ah, oh, so they aren't parked atop uh, Neptune then. Hello. Uh, so are we gonna make boom now? <laughs> That's just crazy. Oh, come on! Okay, so apparently we're supposed to do something with it. Do we need to detach it or something? I don't think this will fit. Oh. Okay, let's let's go exploring. Maybe there is something else we need to find after all. Also, I want to see what happened with the other room. We can go up, can't we? Okay, yes. Also, I've learned that. Oh, okay, never mind. I've learned that uh, when we move through these tunnels repeatedly, uh, I get to hear all sorts of fun sounds. Yeah, this one doesn't have any extra doodads, only some green goop. The, the whole setup, uh, I mean, it could be that it is just a sus suspension of disbelief kind of thing, like, yep, we've built the thing in such a way that it can be navigated in game terms easily, and never mind that gravity don't work that way in space, uh, just get on with it. Or, it could be. It could be that the whole, come on, this thing looks more like a building than a ship is actually a huge hint and we're not as deep space as we think we are. Oh, everything seems to be the same here, okay. I mean, that bed sheet that we discarded earlier would be super useful if you want to blow shit up. Guessing so let's see, can we can we ignite the pool cube? These don't go well together. Oh uh, okay. Because if if we ignited the end of the pool cube we could I don't know use it as a fuse maybe? What's this? Pipes, 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 pipe, and I couldn't interact with it just like that. Oh. Okay, uh, let's go down there again. Oh, wait. Take a look at this. Whoop, whoop. Oh, maybe 
I should put everything back into the draining position. Yeah, this seems inactive now. Wait, let's take a look at these. So this is the broken tank. What's the yellow thing? These are operational tanks. Yeah, let's go down here. Oh wait, maybe I can just, you know, just light it on my, on me. No, <laughs> never mind. And we can't go in these. can't do anything with it. Uh, can we get this one out mm. of the way? No. I don't know what I was thinking there. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yep. That's the idea. <laughs> yeah, so can I? I can't push this one. Hmm. Nope. Maybe. No. No, of course not. And you won't let me do anything with that. That's just crazy. So I can't poke it with the stick either. Nope. Nor with this. No, that won't work. <laughs> so does this mean I do need something else? Does this mean we have to go back to the disco? Ugh. I would so much rather not. So these are just rusted, this one is bust. And there's... Oh, okay, the... So on the diagram there are three working tanks, one bust tank and then something else. I'm guessing... We might have to do something with the release valves then. Let's see, show me the diagram. Yeah, uh, generally I have very much enjoyed the whole intuitive and natural flow how you interact with things, but this diagram is not one of the winning solutions because uh, it wasn't quite clear that you actually had to, you know, click anywhere to activate something, and at the same time, the blinking arrows do look like you would have to click on them. So it's like the uh, the point what you can interact with and what you can't was very very fuzzy with this one Okay, so we have these thingies and these and what are those yellow thingies? Let's see I guess it can only be this system here And apparently I can't Do anything with them? Hmm. No? And I can't do anything with this either. Ugh, back to the disco then. Let's go check on the hole where the cat was. Uh, by the
the way, I think the cat is fine because when moving through this corridor repeatedly I kept hearing some cat noises and then some cow noises so I think the cat resides down here with some other residents. Poke the course with a stick. Well, um, I can try to make it fit, but it may break. So, um, I have reached the stage in the game mm, where, probably not a good idea. When in doubt, hit it with a stick. I think that'll just break it. Okay. Okay. Gas tank. Pipes, drainage pipe, more pipes. So I can't pick up the bed sheet or anything. What do you mean unfamiliar smell? Pipes, 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 pipes. Corpse, 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 corpse. Poke it with a stick. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Okay, let's go to the disco. Classified. Go! I'm not sure what what we might be looking for, like some something that helps us to make a fuse. it with a stick. I don't think this will fit. <laughs> uh, nothing extra on this PDA. Silent tune, my ass. I do 
something with the emitter. Oh. Wait. So we are... We should be able to do something with it. This is a useful drill. <laughs> ah! Whoa, what did we get now? Oh, we did get the emitter. Okay. So, why didn't... I think I didn't try the drill before. I think. So now that we have extra useful doodad, can we blow shit up? I'm pretty sure that the emitter is is for the mm, for the motion sensor door. I mean, would be a shame to blow it up. Then again, it was a shame to lose the cat, but we never had the cat in the first place, so there there is that. Maybe our little helper on the other side of the line might have something to say. Um, let's emit something. <laughs> okay, that doesn't seem to work. Basically, I think that because I was playing late at night yesterday, um, I was thinking of drilling off the meter, but I never did because I was a little tired. Okay, I want to make a save. Let's see. Wha wait what? Why can I only load game? Why can't I save game? Load game, save game, yes. Save game. Please don't make me use up the emitter. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, good. Okay, so now can we blow shit up? <gasps> I think we can! realized that it had worked. Uh, load. I'm like, oh, is it really on? <laughs> is it burning good and well? <laughs> also, I wonder what is the safe distance. Uh, I, I think let's aim for outside of the room. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, 
I would prefer to be outside of the room when it goes off. Did it go off? Oh. Oh. He just put the lighter there. Okay. The lighter is securely held between. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't really get what I what he was doing there. So maybe now we can poke it with the stick. Yeah, like this didn't look like a safe distance either, but if you say so. So now we can climb it. Let's also go and check out there. I wanna hear hear the noises. Oh, now I understand what uh, what made it. Uh, explode the first time so we stuck the lighter there and when he touched it again then it went off yes uh, occasionally here and there the the actions could benefit from an inner monologue like oh I will just stick the lighter here not I will I will set the fumes on fire or something because the, uh, the, the this text field here is usually far apart far apart from the dude that you're interacting with so even if the text is technically there it is excruciatingly easy to miss, especially on a bigger screen. I was like, it, it still works, but it could work better, is what I'm saying. Anyway, onward! See, I can get back up to the crew quarters. Yeehaw! This was where the crew quarters were. Let's check those just in case. Maybe I have missed something, as you do. Also, I get the impression that repeated visits to places sometimes uh, sometimes uh, trigger extra noises and extra you know, random stuff. Okay, so hers was day on. Oh, horrible handwriting. Oh, laundry day on Monday, I guess. Regarding. Oh, call. Da -da -da. Regarding. Da -da -da. Okay. And what about Shelby? Or whatever her name was. Okay, hers is very clean. Never mind. Do we have the um, 
the personal lockers here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay, these lockers are not interactable. Never mind. So yeah, it seems that each uh, sleeping cot has a little life support thing going on. is just messy. Also, it seems that the PDAs have slightly different designs depending on the person. Like different uh, different skins and different uh, uh, colors and all that. Alright, back at the hub. Since we have had such a huge success and the next phase uh, warrants a whole new wave of tinkering, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!